Her voice can be heard through songs of worship. She would also describe herself as an adventurer, a visionary, and an advocate. On this week's Spotlight Music Series, we'd like to welcome singer-songwriter Stephanie Potter. So I'd like to learn a little bit more about what makes you an adventurer, a visionary, and an advocate. Well, I love connecting with people, connecting with God, connecting with the world around me. Uh, and songwriting is one of the ways that I do that. Um, I also have a background in social work. And so that and my connection with God just pours out through the way that I write music. Do you also take this on the road? Do you travel? Do you spread your, your music and songwriting elsewhere besides here in Charleston? Uh, well, thanks to the internet, it goes worldwide, <laughs> so that's wonderful. I actually, I grew up in Rochester, New York, uh, and I had started a band there back in 2002 and traveled all over New York, and um, then I lived in Texas and shared my music there, and now I live here and have been sharing it basically wherever they'll have me. That's wonderful. Where are some of the places that people can hear you sing? Recently, I've, I had gotten really into senior living gigs. Of course, there's the normal um, music venue gigs, concert halls, um, churches, wh literally wherever they will have me. Um, yeah. But most importantly, I stay connected with people across the U.S. and um, really around the world through the internet and through sharing songs online. And that brings me to my next question. So how would you describe your music? Yeah, so I am a folk soul singer songwriter. I call myself an artist of the heart because I dig deep below the surface of things in life and I shine a light on those places. And I try to bring hope and compassion um, and some connection because I found in social work uh, research, the more connected you are, the more healing you can experience. I've heard that as well. I know a lot of people have been very isolated during this time. Um, and for an artist, how has this pandemic been treating you? Yeah, it's definitely had some challenges since, um, thank God we were able to release this, uh, my last CD, Eden's Embrace right before the pandemic started, or well, right before everything shut down really. Right. Um, but we had a great party with the community and everything, but it's changed the way that I share the music because I'm not out there gigging like I normally would sure. to share the CD. So it's all been through the internet. Well, I can't wait to hear you sing, but as a final parting thought, uh, what do you hope that people take away when they listen to your music? I hope that they take away a sense of connectedness um, with themselves, with other people, with the world, um, with spiritual things, with God. Um, because like I said, connection brings that healing. And so I hope that they just feel connected through it. Well, I think that's a wonderful way. You're, you're the vessel of hope for a lot of people, and I am so looking forward to hearing you sing and perform. So we're going to do that after the break. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you.